Well, hey teachers, Tarun Stevenson here for Karma Classrooms. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about how you can make your students feel important. Come on, let's get into it. Okay, in this episode, we're talking about how to make students feel important. Look, uh, everybody wants to feel important. Everybody wants to feel, feel valued. Everybody wants to feel good about themselves. And if you can help your uh, students feel important, especially important to you, uh, what you will do is build their self-esteem, you will build their confidence, and they will be more likely to buy into what you want to do with them in the classroom. They will be more willing to protect the classroom environment and work for you. They will be more willing to behave for you as well. So here's four tips on how to help your students feel important, especially to you. As always, this episode is brought to you by my Behavior Management Blueprint. It's a free ebook and video course that you can access through the link below. So why don't you check that out and uh, get more information on how you can effectively manage behavior in your class. All right, so the first thing is this on making people feel important. Compliment and praise. Everybody loves being complimented. Everybody loves being praised and your students are no exception. And so look for opportunities every day to compliment your students, not just about their work, but just generally. You know, if they get a new haircut, notice the haircut, excuse me. Hey, I love your new haircut and love your new hairstyle. If they got new shoes, hey, they're cool shoes. I like your shoes. You know, look for ways to compliment them um, and notice them. Okay, um, praise them if they've done something well. Fantastic job, I love the way you did that, good job. You know, you worked really hard today, I'm really proud of you. Uh, praise and compliments go a long way to building self-esteem. They also go a long way to managing behavior because students will behave in a manner that they are getting the most attention. And so that gets them the most attention. And so if they're being complimented and praised for their good behavior, that's how they're gonna continue behaving. So use lots of compliments and praise. It's a very powerful tool in making students feel important. The second thing is this, learn to show appreciation when a student does something for you, when they follow your instruction, when they complete a task well. Say thank you. Thank you so much for doing that quickly. Thank you so much for bringing, the, um, bringing your bag in or thank you so much for um, setting up my computer I really appreciate your hard work today. Show appreciation. People love to be thanked. People love to be appreciated. And the more you appreciate your students, the more they will actually want to do things for you so that they can get that appreciation. And, uh, you know, if students are being appreciated on a regular basis, they will feel like the teacher cares about them. The teacher notices them when they do the right thing. And it is just, I guess, a real, it's an extension on compliments and praise. But uh, showing appreciation, saying thank you, uh, it's... I, I had a friend who always used to say manners are for free and thank you is a free way that you can actually build a good relationship with your students. So make sure you do appreciate them and say thank you whenever they've done something that you are happy about or pleased about. The third thing is this, learn your students' names. Uh, this is especially powerful for relief teachers, high school teachers or specialist teachers where you teach a number of students. It can be a little bit tricky, but take the time to learn students' names and use them. If you learn students' names quickly, what you will show them is that you care about them. They are important to you because you took the time to learn their name. So it's, it's a very little task. It may take a little bit of practice, but there are a number of techniques for learning names. So I'd recommend you Google that and just learn how to remember kids' names very quickly. You know, it's the quicker you can learn kids' names, the better. Uh, they love when the teacher learns their name quickly and it shows that they are important to you as the teacher. Uh, the fourth thing is this, acknowledge their communication. So when a student wants to talk to you, maybe they're standing off to the side and um, they're waiting to talk to you and you're talking to another student. Students can get impatient sometimes. They find it difficult to wait their turn. They'll sometimes try and interrupt and stuff. Just a simple thing like, hey Brad, uh, I know you wanna to talk to me. Thank you if you could just wait one minute. Just acknowledge it, you know, just, uh, tell them that, they, that you've noticed them and that will help them to wait a little bit longer or help them to feel important because you've acknowledged them. Um, the other thing is acknowledge emails. So if your students are writing to you, asking questions about their, their work or asking questions about their 
progress, make sure you acknowledge them. Even if you can't give them information straight away, say, hey, thanks for your email. I'll come back to you in a couple of days once I've got that information. Or I don't know just yet, but I'll let you know in a week's time. Just acknowledge people and let them know that you've seen their need for communication. You've seen their need to uh, have some time um, to discuss things and that you will get to them very quickly. Uh, so that's four things that you can do to help your students feel important. Compliment and praise them regularly. Show them appreciation. Say thank you whenever they do something that you appreciate. Three, learn their names quickly and use them often. And four, acknowledge their communication. If they're trying to communicate with you, let them know that you've seen them, let them know you've seen their email and that you will come to them as quickly as you possibly can. I hope that was really helpful for you. Uh, if you want to go deeper on d different techniques for managing behavior in the classroom, why don't you check out our two video courses, Behavior Management Essentials and also Calm, uh, sorry, <laughs> Understanding and Educating Boys. Uh, you can get them through the link below. If you've enjoyed this episode, why don't you give us a subscribe or a follow and share it with somebody that you think would benefit. We'd love to hear from you, so give us a comment. And until next time, I'm Tarun Stevenson for Karma Classrooms. Oh, 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 oh,